Hello, welcome back to Gana Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look again at the Evaluate Image Node in Spreadshop. So, if you go to the compositing, uh, we already talked about it. There's this Evaluate Image Node. And you might notice something new here. Now we have actually um, the alpha output and black and white output. And that's actually new. And just one blink and a few days later, uh, the developer, Alessandro Zombarelli, actually updated the nodes as a, a, based on maybe my feedback. Uh, now, so we, you can provide an image with a alpha channel and it will respect that. Um, that's really, really cool. And there's also black and white um, output. So let's try uh, with an image. I have this image. Uh, this is actually um, some kind of relighting. It's based on a photo I took and then I make some kind of modification and I'm taking advantage of the depth map of the photo. But anyhow, that's a, this image is uh, it's a square format so I don't need to worry about the width and height. It's just one by one ratio. So I can just load it into sphere chalk into the node tree. Let's save this really quick. Evaluate image. And I'm going to resample the image similar to uh, Cubifier or Cubester, actually Cubester add-on. Very, very similar to that. And uh, I'm gonna provide some kind of grid and then I will provide, um, I will be using circle and I'm gonna be using uh, instancing in the most um, efficient way. So instead of trying to make like hundreds or thousands of objects or even ten thousands of objects I'm gonna make a single object and then I, I will use the the color I will uh, re resemble the color of the image uh, using the U and the V and it's gonna be a single object with a polygon vertex color applied on the face so that's gonna be interesting you can you can actually take advantage of this merge but I will be using the apply matrix, um, this one, the second one, not the first one. So here, by default, it has joined. So I think we have all the nodes we need. This guy will generate some points. This one will evaluate the image and it will be using the, the point sampling for the UV. And then this guy will generate some circles and we're gonna colorize the circles. All right, so we got all the ingredients. It should be pretty easy. Um, I will be using four vertices, so it's gonna make like a square. Um, I will be using the plane, just plug it in there, and then the output's gonna be B mesh. Okay, so we have we have this, and I can increase the number of points, and we have. We have this uh, this mesh geometry. It's just a single object in the 3D scene, and there's nothing to it. Now we want to transfer the color data from this guy into this guy. All right. Save this again. So we will be needing actually one more node. Is the color color in? Actually, a uh, vertex color. So we're gonna colorize the, the face of the objects. The object is gonna be this guy. And this, uh, currently we are using Blender Render. We can also use Cycles. Um, doesn't matter for now. Just assign material and then turn on for text color. Yeah, I think that will do. Okay. So we have something funky going on. And one thing you need to know is that by default now, this node supports the RGBA. So I'm using Blender 2.79. This is a little bit older version. It doesn't have the RGBA. It doesn't use the alpha. So I will just switch to RGB. And this color is still RGBA. So we need to use a color in. And this color in should be set to just use the RGB. 
okay so we get the color right so that's working we are not using the alpha yet if you want to use the alpha you need to use the newer 2.79 or 2.8 they both support the alpha for vertex color anyhow this is our main guy right here this node I can even give it a color this evaluate image so we need to provide the vertices right and then this later on the RGB will go there and we are not using the A but you can see the color is starting to transfer from here to there it's not clear at the moment because we are using a very very small sampling vertices so how many we have exactly so normally the way I, uh, I'll do it is by using the normalize it simplify the whole thing so just turn on normalize and then now we start to play around with the step doesn't matter anymore but the vertices, vertices and and this guy will will actually matters so let's try 20 by 20 here okay starting to see something and try 10 by 10 here okay you can see this is kind of like a resembling of this guy they are kind of overlapping so I will try to change the radius of our our uh, mesh instance here the circle okay it's supposed to be circle by default right but I make it just a triangle or square I can rotate it so it's more like a like a like a square pixel um, so rotation you, you can do this of course just assign the Euler and then rotate it in the z-axis 45 degree and it's becoming that kind of mosaic if you want to do that or use a triangle and then you can start rotating this randomly so that's also can be interesting we are getting somewhere here really uh, you can play play around with the number uh, let's see currently we have this 10 10 and then also domain 10 and 10 maybe we need to connect all of these together because if I change the number here 20 by 20 you can see this thing kind of spread and then we have four of this image kind of repeated so we don't want that and then if we also change the number here 20 by 20 we can see it's kind of too large uh, too too big so it's make sure these numbers are the same then so I'll I'll be using integer give it a number 10 and oh okay I cannot plug it in okay never mind on that but anyhow this uh, vertex we can play around with let's give it a 10 that seems like a smaller sampling if I give it like 40 40 by 40 now this one has more sampling so that's actually good that's actually a good thing so it's kind of a juggling between these numbers and these numbers um, yeah let's go a little bit higher so we have circle back yeah this one see like it's like a grid and then this this one is uh, respecting this image so yeah that's actually pretty much it that's the basic idea we have a single object and then we can simply export it out this guy has of course the vertex color on each and every polygon face we can render this out using cycles or EV blender 2.8 so that's pretty cool at this point we can play around with this a little bit so let's say the radius random number and here we can uh, see uh, we have 1600 circles right so that's mean we can give it this number exactly 
and we can randomize the, the radius a little bit plug this into the radius and we should have all these different radius um, let's try make this 0.6, this one point 0.1 they are kind of overlapping and maybe too big if you want to randomize the, the points so they are not overlapping too much we can use randomize input on the points position just give some kind of randomizations in the z axis um, in the past I've seen something similar done using processing processing is like a, a kind of programming language uh, that's used by some visual artists still a pretty good tool but uh, no we can do it similar thing using blender uh, yeah so that's that's kind of one idea so I, I like to give it a little bit randomization in the Z um, yeah we can also of course turn it back into triangles with the triangles or or even uh, square and then yeah at this point you can also randomize further um, over here just uh, give it a, all this all kind of randomizations and then if you want you can also give it like a like a seed random seed um, in the in the integer so let's try plug this to that guy so what's gonna happen it's gonna randomize all the points of the mesh that's being instance in this case it's just a square that's pretty that's actually pretty interesting because you can go higher with this guy with the circle and you this starting to look like a kind of like a blotch of painting and yeah it's kind of like a new uh, kind of like a new artwork based on this photo and you can easily change the photo now um, so this is yeah I don't know what to call this but it's kind of like a, a sampling of this photo data and then we are really turning it into something else well anyway that's pretty much uh, for this live noting hopefully you enjoy this uh, i'll see you next time thank you bye